Okay, today you're going to learn what you need to do after your file cloud server has been installed, your initial configuration, your initial settings. We're going to get to know a little bit more details of the general dashboard once you log in. But first, let's get uh, some initial basics uh, from the beginning. To access your file cloud website, you are going to go directly to the IP address or the production URL address that you're going to use. And to go to the admin section, you can simply go to 127.0.0.1 if you are in the server. And you can do slash admin. That's a shortcut that exists on the system. And it will get you directly to your admin portal. If you want to go to your user portal, that's using your production URL or your IP address without anything. It will take you directly to your user portal. To log into your admin portal for the first first time, the default, uh, if you install it on premise, it's always admin and password. So you can use that to log in. And once you log in, we can change that information in here. Okay, so there are a few things that you want to get uh, from the beginning in here. Once you log in every time on your admin portal, you're going to land on the general dashboard. And you're also going to see a few pop-up messages here, at least if it's for the first time. It's going to be some uh, warning flags. Not that is there's something wrong. If there's something wrong, you will see something in red color like this one, invalid server URL. But if, the, if it's just for after installation, you will see that you have to make a few changes to make sure that everything is configured properly. And for now, it's saying that we have to remove the install folder on your HTConfig folder. We'll, we'll do that in just a moment. You need to set an admin email. Your server URL, we need to set that up from the beginning. And we can set or we can ignore this one for, that says set email server. You can customize to use your own SMTP settings. For now, I'm just going to click them away. And we're going to get a quick view of your general dashboard. In your general dashboard, you're going to have a few key information that we're going, it's going to be more relevant after we move on on the course. For now, you can understand that the system summary is basically telling you what is the traffic that your, service, your server is actually giving to your client requests, that's applications or web requests, downloads, uploads, all that information is going to be uh, graphed out in here in weeks, months, six months, uh, you can customize the time frame. You're going to see the statistics for your system regarding users. This is going to give you the count of full accounts, guest accounts, limited accounts, groups, uh, actually my files items, that's files and folders, network folders, if you have that configured, user shares, devices, audit records, and email sent in the last 24 hours. We're going to get into understanding this later on once we start configuring one uh, one of each of these items. We're also going to see data leak prevention statistics, license information, your file cloud version information, if there's any updates, your quick actions to add users, add groups, network shares, or add an admin. And you're also going to get some oh, at a glance information of what, from where your users are actually accessing the system the file type distribution overall, user default distribution, who is the users, uh, uh, the quota of their, of how much space are they using, and if there's any application client connecting to the system, you're going to see a graph here distributed by an operating system. By the end of this course, we're going to see this dashboard again, and we're going to see that all the applications, users, groups, and all the actions that we're going to do in the next few weeks you're going to see them populate here as we move on.